Budapest, the capital of Hungary, is located in Central Europe on the banks of the Danube. The nation's political, economic, and cultural center is there, and one of the continent's most stunning and livable cities. This has been a tale of two cities for ages. Buda, a city emerging from the Western Highlands, and Pest, which extend into the Eastern Lowlands open spaces. These two cities were separated by the Danube until 1873. The first of Budapest's seven bridges started connecting the two sides. This story of two cities has also been one of rebirth and destruction. Hello and welcome to KYC News. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Budapest has been traversed by the waters of the Danube. The major floods of European history have also done so, frequently graciously, yet occasionally with fierce ferocity. Navigating Budapest, a large city, requires having a patchwork of districts might be difficult. As well as comprehending its complicated past, Visit the Citadella on the Buddha side of the Danube for a comprehensive overview. Come enjoy the sights from Gellert Hill's 19th century walls. The earliest part of Budapest is just upriver from the Citadella. The castle district, where there are numerous medieval, baroque and 19th century structures ride Buddha Castle's 150-year-old funicular up Castle Hill. Hungarian rulers have resided in the castle since its construction in the 13th century. A bastion for Ottoman forces and the base of operations for a top-tier German commando unit. For the past seven centuries, many times during periods of peace, the castle complex has been reconstructed after being reduced to ruins during conflict. Castle Hill's northernmost point rises to the obstinate Matthias Church steeple, which was used as a mosque for 150 years during the Ottoman Empire. Step out of the chapel and onto Fisherman's Bastion's terraces, whose seven towers are a representation to the seven Magyar tribes he was responsible for creating Hungary in the 9th century. Fishwives sold their wares here during the Middle Ages. Today, the ornate terraces provide another another fantastic location to take in city views. After ascending to the top of Castle Hill, stroll to the pest side of the city over yet another of Budapest's famous sites. The Danube wasn't always that simple to cross. Travelers were subject to the whims of the rivers for ages. A youthful count made a promise to build a bridge in 1820 after being hindered by winter ice flows. From going to his loving father's funeral, The second EI chain bridge was finished after 30 years. At the time, it was hailed as one of the engineering marvels of the globe. Among his several accomplishments, building the bridge earned Istvan second EI the title of most outstanding Hungarian. Following your river crossing, to reach the Hungarian parliament building, follow the riverside upstream. Crafted with love from 40 million bricks, 88 pounds of gold, and 500,000 beautiful stones, the hopes and desires of the country are held within this architectural wonder. The Hungarian crown jewels, which have been hidden, are also kept there. Lost, stolen, and repeatedly found. Join a trip to see St. Stephen's crown, Hungary's first king which, after being stored for safety in America's Fort Knox during the majority of the Cold War, presently has a prominent position beneath the dome of the parliament. There are about 100 statues inside the parliament building. Although Imre Nagy's is the most beloved, having served as prime minister, Nagy angered the Soviets in 1956 by declaring his nation's exit. By way of the Warsaw Pact, Creating a brave but futile uprising, it resulted in his death and the deaths of other Hungarians. Not far from the parliament building and downriver is a somber tribute to one of the city's darkest eras. Thousands of Budapest residents, many of them Jews, fled the city in 1944 were put to death by the fascist party in power here. 
Along the riverbank, a line of 60 pairs of iron shoes pay homage to those who were shot and carried away into the night by the currents of the Danube. The tragedies of World War II notwithstanding Budapest now has one of Europe's largest Jewish populations. Get Lost in the Jewish Neighborhood, a vibrant cafe and bar culture that is helping to revitalize a neighborhood. Visit the Dohani Street Synagogue next to offer your respects. The biggest Jewish temple in all of Europe. There are more than 200 museums in Budapest. The Hungarian National Museum, the most significant in the country, is located immediately south of the Jewish Quarter. Over a thousand years of Hungarian history can be explored here. Starting with the Magyars and continuing into the Stalinist era and beyond, however, this structure is more than just a memorial to the past. Here, historical events took happen. From these exact stairs, the first demands for revolt were heard in 1848 motivating the Hungarian people to rise up and reclaim their freedom from Austrian rule. Like so many of the old structures in this city, drama abounds in the St. Stephen's narrative. It took 54 years to finish the basilica. If a storm hadn't forced the dome to collapse, it would have been done years earlier, prompting the construction team to completely demolish the basilica and rebuild it from scratch. Fortunately, the new dome has endured for more than a century. A comforting idea as you enjoy the vistas from its summit. Allow yourselves to be carried up Andresi Avenue starting from St. Stephen's, a road that is part of the global heritage bordered by large cafes and exquisite neo-Renaissance buildings. Another temple is nearby St. Stephen's, this one honoring the musical deities of Europe. Even though the Hungarian State Opera House's curtains initially opened more than 130 years ago, here, the acoustics are still regarded as some of the best in the world. Andresi Avenue keeps moving in a northeastern direction. By way of Franz Liszt Square dedicated to the most renowned musical son of the city, before revealing Heroes Square in the end. Look up at the seven Magyar chieftains who founded Hungary. Go to the tomb of the unknown soldier and take a moment to reflect there. City Park's entrance is located in Heroes Square. This served as the focal point of Hungary's millennium festivities in 1896. Vajdahanyad Castle was built for the celebrations. A transient amusement composed of cardboard and with the development of Hungarian architecture. The popularity of the castle led to a later stone reconstruction and now has a museum dedicated to agriculture, a remarkable testament to the intimate ties between the Hungarian people and the land. Additionally located in City Park are the second EI thermal baths, a huge water palace with many swimming pools, saunas, steam rooms, and massage rooms. Over 125 hot springs are spread across Budapest, over 2,000 years ago, the Romans used these warm waters for therapeutic purposes, as did the Turks who later constructed opulent bathhouses at Gellert on the Buddha side of the city. Budapest became well known as the city of spas by the 1930s. Taking the waters is a weekly habit for many people in Budapest. Locals visit these locations to revitalize their bodies, spirits, and relationships with family and friends. The Thermal Springs or the Dazzling Danube, for example, the water here has a genuinely unique quality that has allowed Budapest to absorb some one of the most chaotic periods in history and emerge rejuvenated. Therefore, when you're prepared to have reflective times, inspiration and breathtaking beauty arrive in Budapest, one of the major cities in the globe, you'll undoubtedly feel renewed afterward as well. Thank you for watching and see you on next video.